According to Shams, Patrick Beverly and Boyak Bogdanovich of the Utah Jazz are potential trade targets for the Lakers. Now at this point, the Lakers front office is still trying to improve the team. They want to maximize what they have left of LeBron's prime, and they want to turn the Lakers into contenders. And I think that anybody that's realistically looking at the Lakers roster after free agency doesn't really see them as a contender in the West. In fact, the Lakers are probably a playing team at best, and that's if LeBron James and Anthony Davis are able to stay healthy and play over 65 games next year. The West is going to be a lot better next year. The Clippers, they're going to get healthy. The Denver Nuggets, they're going to get healthy. And they also got young teams like the Pelicans and like the Blazers and like the Timberwolves that are going to improve. So realistically, the Lakers are probably a playing team at best. Now, the dream case scenario for the Lakers this offseason was, of course, to get Kyrie Irving, but as of now, it looks like that's off the table. The Brooklyn Nets just met with Kevin Durant the other day, and they decided that Durant's going to stay, which means that Kyrie is going to stay as well. So they're not trading Kyrie Irving. So the dream of trading Russell Westbrook along with those two picks and getting back Kyrie Irving and Seth Curry and reuniting him with LeBron and contending for a championship, that's dead. So as of right now, it looks like the Lakers really have two potential trades on the table. We have this one with the Jazz where they could get back Pat Bev and Boyan Bogdanovich, and they also have the Pacers trade where they could get back Buddy Hield and Miles Turner. Now, a lot of Lakers fans are probably going to disagree with me when I say this, but I'm not particularly high on the Buddy Hield and Miles Turner return, and I'm not really sold that those two are going to make the Lakers contenders. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that they wouldn't improve the team. I do think that they would make the Lakers better. But I'm not really sold that that puts the Lakers as contenders in the West with other teams like the Warriors and the Nuggets. Why? So, let's start off with Miles Turner. Miles Turner is ideally the ideal center you want next to Anthony Davis, right? He's a, one of the elite rim protectors in the league. He's a good three-point shooter, so he would be a good fit, good fit next to Anthony Davis. But the problem with Miles Turner is that he can't stay healthy. Last season, Miles Turner played just 42 games. The year before that, he played just 47 games. The year before that, he played just 62 games. So with Miles Turner, we get a very good starting center, but injury prone and can't stay healthy. And if he hasn't been able to stay healthy over the past three seasons, I don't know why anybody would think he would be able to play a full 82 game season next year and be ready for the playoffs. So there's a huge risk with that Miles Turner addition. And then you have Buddy Hield. Again, Buddy Hield would be a nice fit. He's an elite shooter. He's been one of the elite three point shooters in the league for the past few years. He would be an awesome fit next to LeBron. But the problem with Heald is that he's one dimensional. He's a poor defender. And we've seen in the NBA over the past few years that those one dimensional three point specialists become unplayable come playoff time. Look at what happened with Duncan Robinson. The problem with guys like Heald is that because he's a bad defender, teams target guys like him on defense. They isolate them and they basically force you to take them off the court. So while Buddy Heald and Miles Turner would improve the team, I'm not necessarily sold that those two would make the Lakers contenders. And if they make that trade, they're going to have to give up both first round picks, meaning that that's going to be the last significant trade the Lakers are going to be able to make with LeBron and Anthony Davis on the team. As of now, any trade involving Russell Westbrook is going to require the Lakers to trade both of their first round picks. Teams know that the Lakers are desperate. They know that they need to maximize what they have left of LeBron's prime. So they're not accepting Russell Westbrook's contract unless the Lakers are willing to give up both their 2027 and 2029 first round pick. And if I'm going to trade both of those picks and move Westbrook, I better be making sure that those players that I get back in return are going to at least give me a chance to contend. Me, personally, I like the Utah Jazz trade a lot better. So with the Utah Jazz, let's say they give up Russell Westbrook. They can get back Patrick Beverly. They can get back Boyan Bogdanovich. And I would probably also ask them to give me back Jordan Clarkson. That trade actually works on Trade Machine. They could give up Russell Westbrook and they could get back those three players. Now, Patrick Beverly would be the ideal fit next to LeBron. He's an elite defender. He's been all defensive team before, and he can hit that three ball. So he would be a really nice fit as a starting point guard. Boyan Bogdanovich, he's been a, a quality starting small forward for years. Last season, he averaged 19 points per game and hit 39% from three. He's a guy that 
also would be a really nice fit next to LeBron, can space the floor, can score. Not a great defender, but solid enough where he's not going to get exploited. Decent defender. And then I would also ask them to give me back Jordan Clarkson. Jordan Clarkson, he's been the sixth man of the year before. He would help to give LeBron and Anthony Davis a spell. He's just somebody that can come off the bench and just be a spark plug and get you 17, 18 a game. So me personally, I like the Utah Jazz trade better than the Pacers trade. With this trade package, you get better defensively by getting Patrick Beverly. Your outside shooting has now improved and you just got a lot deeper because you got back one of the best bench players in the league. To me, I would rather do this trade package than do the Pacers trade package because again, even though I think those two guys, talking Buddy Hield and Miles Turner, are a good fit, Miles Turner is extremely injury prone and then Buddy Hield is potentially unplayable come playoff time because of his lack of defense. So if I had to make one trade, meaning giving up Russell Westbrook and giving up my two first round picks, if I had to make one trade to improve this team before training camp, I'm talking to Danny Ainge and I'm trying to get back those three players. But anyway, now I want to hear from you guys. I'm really curious of what other Lakers fans think. Do you like this potential trade package from the Utah Jazz where they get back Pat Bev, Boyan Bogdanovich, and Jordan Clarkson? Or do you prefer the Pacers trade where they get Miles Turner and Buddy Heald? Let me know in the comments. What do you think the Lakers need to do in order to become uh, contenders in the West next season? If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more dope content just like it, drop a like on the video and hit that subscribe button. Now have a great rest of your day.